Help. 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 It was an accident at the manufacturing uh, site. Occupational safety and health is a discipline with a broad scope involving uh, many specialized fields. Uh, uh, in other words, healthy, uh, safety and health, uh, uh, including our uh, a person, mental, physical, and uh, and social as a person. So for today, uh, I will present my topic entitled Role of Engineer in Safety and Health Field. So, my first point is development of works, organization, and working culture. Engineers should know which aspect of organization to embrace in research and analyze to prevent conflict. They should know the organization is not just an importance of company management, but it's also great significance for each person work for a situation. For the example, like before I start my presentation, there's a situation where a person uh, in accident and who should first come there and who should first be responsible for the accident. Engineers should maintain unity and create a sense of belonging within a work group and reduce the conflict or misunderstanding. So my next point is, engineers should promote positive social climate to have a good culture in working place. They should, uh, they should have an organization to make greatest contribution to its health and safety performance. They should develop their culture within the work groups. For example, like the good culture are the good communication, ups, down, and across the organization, a fair discipline system, and meaningful involvement of the working in all aspects and healthy health. So next. Now, I will continue with the individual role as engineer. So, as you can see in the picture, this is an engineer, a math engineer. So, the engineer needs to follow the ethics in a workplace like the other workers. This is because engineer is a leader in the subplace in a factory or in a site. So, he can be a role model to the other technicians. So, as a leader, we, engineer, needs to show a good attitude to the other technicians. So, the technician can gain respect from the, can gain respect because the technicians have to follow the rules. So, at the site, if all people, the technicians, the engineer, have the same attire, the same attire and the same safety, what makes the difference between the engineer and the technicians? The difference between both are the colors of their helmet. So, if we follow the ethic, we can also protect ourselves from the danger because that is the main idea of the safety at the working place. The next point is alert with the environment and well known. The precaution step and safety procedure. This is because if we know the procedure and because if we know the procedure, we can make a fast action because when something emergency happens, we can make a fast action. For example, if one of the workers is injured, we can give a procedure if they have a seat or what. If we know the procedure and we can prevent the injuries become more fatal and injury become to death. Next, we can also detect danger at early stage. This is because if we are alert at the environment, we will know every single mission. There are some situations when a mission that vibrates a little more vigorously and the engineer can check whether the mission is 
in a good position or what? So we can know that there are some untitled screw or what? The next main point is the maintenance and promotion of local hub and local and working capacity. How we need to do this? We can do this remind the technician about the safety in the working place. So the basic safety is the boot and the helmet. So the technician need to wear this at the side every time. This is because site actually is a safety place, but it can very dangerous place if we are careless because there are many sharp things, there are many heavy heavy material hanging upside your head and small mistake can cause to danger. The second is make sure all the machine in the best conditions. This is because if the machine is in the best conditions, we can prevent the incidents including the machines. It's because we know the safety or the limit of the machines. Also, we can increase the production. Next is know the machine lifespan. Lifespan. Because if we know the machine lifespan, we know the limit and we know the safety of the machines. So there are, we know the something the broken system and we can make a uh, change some spare part. Okay? Next. Yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, for the next point is improvement of working environment at work to become conducive to safety and health. Okay. For the first point is create a plan of work health, work place health and safety. Okay, as as an engineer, we, uh, you must identify the hazard uh, that are in the environment, in the environment of the workplace, and must take action how to minimize or to eliminate the hazard that that are in the workplace. Okay, uh, for example, uh, we can create a plan to promote uh, work to promote work and health to promote workplace health and safety, uh, such as. Uh, we can ensure we uh, we can tell our worker to uh, what uh, we are what we provide we provide for their safety and what we need them to do for their safety and for the workplace environment safety. Uh, one of the example that we can do uh, as a role of engineer of head of safety and health, we, uh, we can. Uh, we can provide a cleaner uh, with a heavy duty cleaning product or, or we can also uh, give, uh, provide a mechanic working with a large machinery or a warehouse manager stacking heavy boxes uh, with this kind of with this kind of of, uh, of thing that we that we provide yeah, we can ensure uh, or we can Minimize the hazard that are in the work in the working places. Okay, for the next point is train your workers and employees. Okay, for this step, uh, we can, uh, we must uh, give a guide. Firstly, we must give guide to our workers about the safety in a workplace and also to maintain the uh, safety in our environment also. Uh, and then uh, we must provide a guide for them to follow the guide and then uh, when we give the guide we must also train or we must uh, also do training if there are uh, some emergency or there are some accident happen in the workplace uh, we must train them uh, such as we train our workers uh, in situation that if there any fire, uh, what we call is fire drill, right? So uh, that is one example of training that we can provide uh, to our workers uh, to ensure that they they know how, uh, what to do during the accident. 
Next is we uh, after we give training, we also must give talk regularly about the safety itself because to remind them uh, what they must do and what the precaution that they, they have they must take uh, before the accident and during the accident happen. Because uh, if we remind them every time, uh, there will be uh, there will be alert uh, every time in your place. And we must also talk about issue uh, that have been in the workplace uh, that can uh, that can consist to accident. Okay. Uh, for the conclusion, uh, for the conclusion is to permit effective examination of the relationship between health and employment and work-related factors among workers. <coughs> uh, and next, uh, we must have good information on this health and safety risk. Uh, we must have good information because we, uh, as a goal in safety and health, is to have zero uh, if you have zero case or zero uh, incident that can be happen in our place, and lastly is to be certificated engineer in safety and health before we give a lecture or before we give a guide to our workers and to other people, we must also be certificated engineers uh, in safety and health because uh, we must educate ourselves first to educate. To, to educate other people. I think that's all uh, from us. Thank you.